Dave McClure, you recently wrote a post that check-ins are coupons, game mechanics are bullshit. To summarize your thoughts, <laughs> you think Foursquare, Gowal, and all those location sites don't work unless these guys really pay up and pay up handsomely, right? Well, I mean, I, I think there's definitely a big business there. So let's start with that. Um, I think that because there's a big business in all these sort of, you know, retail coupons and frequency marketing and local search marketing, because there's so much money being spent there right now in Yellow Pages and in other areas, there's, there's money to be spent on acquiring customers. Mm -hmm. The average person going to the tennis shop or going to Subway or going to McDonald's, like they don't really have an incentive to check in at those locations for no Though it seems like reason. every generation is more connected than the previous sure, one, Sure, right? but I'm just saying like because there's so much money to be made, somebody's gonna start you know, paying some bounty for mm -hmm. customers, whether it's five bucks or a dollar or you know, five bucks for 10 visits. And so once money starts entering into the game, then there's going to be a competition for acquiring those customers. And I mean, because it's potentially so profitable, it's worth it. But why is it so much money? Now, some of the numbers on your post was that it'll cost approximately $100 million to get one to two million businesses online as well as 20 million users, right? That yeah. seems like a lot of overhead costs. I think there's a lot well, of businesses out there who would be very <laughs> willing to give up their coupons in order to get the sure. users in. Right. Well, so first of all, I'm blowing numbers out my ass, and that's like <laughs> complete. I mean, their order of magnitude correct. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say yeah. I explicitly did a bunch there of research on that. There is going to be a big price tag, right? A well, big bounty. There's, there's certainly millions of small businesses. Mm -hmm. There's at least tens of thousands of franchises. Um, I think that a lot of businesses probably would, for fifty to hundred dollars, go through signing up with every what your process is. Mm. And, and you're right. I think like they are spending money on yellow page advertising and other areas. But most of those businesses don't know who Foursquare or GoWall is. Gotcha. They don't probably don't even know who Yelp is. So is that in like the biggest weakness right now for Foursquare or GoWall is the fact that they're having a hard time really reaching out and having that brand recognition well, that it would come with a Facebook or a Google. I don't I don't think they're having a tough time per se. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I gave you know those guys a bunch of crap. So first of all, first full disclosure, <laughs> I have been working with Founder Fund in the past. Founder yeah. Fund is an investor in mm -hmm. Gowalla. I'm friends with some folks at Union Square who are investors in, in uh, Foursquare, and you know there's other businesses there too. I know sure. the guys at Yelp. Um, I think they've done a great job in progressing to where they're at. Mm -hmm. And even you know, I was belittling getting to a million users. That's really you know pretty good progress in a year. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, you know, Facebook is at 400 million users around the world, at least 100 million in the U.S. It's no small task to sign up a lot of businesses, large or small, in 50 metros across the country. Mm -hmm. That'll take years for many people, uh, and unless they opt in themselves you know, it's not going to be an overnight thing. So we're looking at the next two, five years gotcha. worth of biz dev signups, whether that's, you know, a direct sale or band marketing or, or you know, them yeah. signing up. And the advantage in those situations is going to go to the larger brands, more recognized brands like Google and Apple and Facebook mm -hmm. and maybe Twitter. You mentioned a few times Facebook, and in your post you said that is probably the most likely company to acquire one of these big LBSs, right? Do you well, think that's think the most likely scenario still? I don't think there's any question that you're going to roll out some form of geo-based check-in mm -hmm. uh, relatively soon, probably in you know at F8. Yeah. Um, Whether it's, it's on the scale of four squares, another matter. Yeah. Right? Well, I mean, or I think Wallet. they'll both have the ability to register locations mm -hmm. and do check-ins. Yelp's already done that. Um, Twitter basically announced something like that yesterday, uh, two days ago. So uh, it, it's been seen that Facebook is testing some QR code stuff, which you know looks likely that someone might be able to do check-ins with a phone or other sort of information mm. uh, if they have a reader device. So I think that they can do location-based services, and they will do that game. Google and Apple will probably also try that game as well. Yeah. Um, whether or not they need to buy someone or whether they can build it is maybe unclear. Um, I think, you know, probably you would say, suggest that Gowalla and Foursquare and a couple other folks are sophisticated enough now that Facebook might not take the time to build it themselves if they felt like they could acquire someone for the right price. So, What is the right price though? Some people have been talking about <laughs> Foursquare at approximately 70 million, right? Yeah. I mean, can you give us an estimate for those two giants of this market well, so far. I mean, Gowalla, Foursquare, yeah. just a rough ballpark. I mean, I think those are big numbers mm -hmm. for the user bases that those companies have right mm -hmm. now. Um, but at the same time, they'd be acquired not for their own user bases, but for the value they bring to other user bases. So what you're really talking about is if you could bring those services to other companies that already had 100 million users, what's their value, right? And is it north of 70 million? 
Uh, well, certainly. I mean, if if there's only a few left on the table, then the number goes up. <laughs> the market opportunity is huge. It's billions of dollars of opportunity. Uh, there's at least you know 50 million users in the U.S. that are potentially the consumers of these services. If you thought those users were worth five to ten dollars in local search advertising per year, then yeah, it's a big number. Maybe they're worth more than that. So how does this market develop then in 15 years? Does Foursquare still look like Foursquare? Does Gowalla still look like Gowalla? Yeah. Is it impossible to tell <laughs> in more than a decade? Uh, I'm barely able to predict one year out. I probably can't predict too much more than two or three with any level of uh, less than stupidity. Um, I mean, I think it's very likely that you'll see the offline behavior of coupons and discounting and frequency purchasing, you know, simulated via some type of online mechanism, probably via mobile phone or device, possibly via you know, normal PCs and other devices. There's a lot of money that's going to move into online search advertising, frequency marketing, and location-based you know, advertising. So this could be a $30 billion market. Yeah, you know, I'm guessing, but it's a big market that's measured in billions of dollars, probably tens of billions of dollars. So, and right today in the offline world, it's a, you know, at least a $20 billion market probably. So it's a big market to go after. It's, a, it's an area that large VCs can still invest into and make reasonable for the types of things that they need to achieve. Um, so the numbers aren't ridiculous from that sense. Mm -hmm. um, but it is a question of you know, how much technology and IP advantage do these companies have? How much user base do they have? What's the potential for you know, a Facebook or a Google or an Apple to build that on their own? And I think it's likely that there's some intersection where certain companies will buy certain other companies at certain prices. And those prices are probably you know, north of 50 million, and they probably, in certain scenarios, are north of a couple hundred million. Um, but whether they're you know, billion dollar acquisitions or whether they're $100 million acquisitions, we'll see.